We're going to look at representing fractions, but we're going to start by representing a number we're very familiar with, the number 1, which we can write in words like that, or as a symbol like that. We can represent 1 as one whole chocolate bar, or we can show it as a position on the number line. And the other way we're going to consider one whole is we're going to consider a collection of objects as one whole collection. So here, for example, I have three t-shirts that are in a collection. So I have one collection of t-shirts here. Let's consider now the fraction one third, which I can write either in words or in symbols. The denominator of my fraction three tells me that I have to cut up my whole into three equal sized pieces. So in my chocolate bar, I need to cut it into three equal sized pieces. And on the number line, I need to take the length between zero and one and cut it up into three equal lengths. The one in the numerator tells me I just want one of those pieces or one of those lengths. So in my chocolate bar, one third of the chocolate bar will be that yellow piece that you can see there. And one third on the number line means I must simply travel one out of the three lengths between zero and one. And in terms of my collection of t-shirts, if I've got a whole collection of t-shirts that consists of three t-shirts and one of them is yellow, I can say that one third of my collection of t-shirts is yellow. So two thirds will be a very similar story. The three tells us we need to cut the chocolate bar up into three pieces or the length between zero and one up into three pieces. In this case, we've got two in the numerator, so we need to take one, two of those pieces to make two thirds. Or in the number line, we need to travel one, two of those lengths to make two thirds on the number line. And in terms of our collection, if this is our whole collection of t-shirts and two of them are yellow, we can say two out of the three or two thirds of the collection are yellow. And if we have three fifths, the five in the denominator tells us that we need to cut the chocolate bar up into five equal sized pieces and the length between zero and one up into five equal sized pieces. The three in the numerator tells us that we want to take one, two, three of those fifths so we have three fifths of the chocolate bar and in our number line we need to travel one, two, three of those fifth lengths to get to the position of three fifths on the number line. In terms of our collection, if we had a collection of five t-shirts and three of them were yellow, we could say three fifths of our collection of t-shirts is yellow.